Hi, in this video, we will create menu and menu items for our project. Let's start. Uh, we created these forms and now we need to uh, put this form in a user interface. Uh, so we need to choose a menu for this, uh, this project. Uh, sometimes you can create a new uh, menu for uh, this kind of project. If it is a new module or a big functionality, you can create new modules. Uh, but uh, the activity management for me is not a, a module. Uh, so I can uh, put these uh, forms into a, a common menu or a contrastable menu. Uh, Let's uh, put these uh, in uh, account receivable. For uh, for doing that, we need to create an extension uh, of account receivable. Let's create an extension. And after that, I double clicked and opened this menu. And I need a sub menu for this one. And this is so the activity it's okay now i can create menu items and uh, add this menu so let's create a new menu item for uh, for for example uh, duty type or activity type uh, I'm choosing user interface. Uh, I have three different types of menu items. For forms, we need to use display menu items. Okay. Let's start with activity expense trans with this. In properties, we need to select object type is form and object our form okay now it's ready but we need to enter a label for this one this is what uh, a user will see okay now it's ready let's create another one and Duty type. Also, this object and label. Okay. I can. Uh, sorry. I'm looking for duplicate option, but many items uh, don't have duplication. Mm, so let's create new one too. This is the last one. Okay, now we created these menu items and now we can uh, drag and drop these menu items to our menu. Okay. 
No. Let's give a name uh, for this menu activity. Okay. Let's re make one of them as a startup object and run our project. Activity type uh, is opened. Let's look at our menu. As you can see, this account receivable, and we have new sub menu activity management, and we have uh, our uh, menu items added here. Let's uh, put some uh, records here. For example, and an invoice reason. Mm. Let's say. Yeah. Test. Yeah. Mm, maybe bug. bug. Maybe the search. Okay, this is enough. I created this one. That's Delete this one. Okay, go back and duty type. Mm, what type of duties? Mm, we have ID here and du duty types uh, like test. Test and test let's say the development and design maybe Test development design. Okay, it's enough. Not important. Let's go back. Activity type. We have activity types. Okay. Expense. Expense type. Okay. Mm, for example, hotel. Hotel. Taxi. Same. Or meal. Yeah. Okay. It's enough also. We have act activity expense trans, but we will enter activity expense trans uh, from activities. So we, we will not enter from here. Let's go back to our project. Uh, we have duty table, but we didn't create for uh, menu item for duty table. Let's create this one too. Okay, now our menu and menu items uh, are ready, uh, but you know, uh, we opened these menus uh, as a 
admin uh, because we didn't create any security objects yet we need to create security objects and assign them to uh, user i will uh, cover this topic uh, later but for this video it's enough to uh, show you how to create many items and how to create a new sub menu for this kind of project uh, and uh, how can you see uh, and add these menu items to menu and how end user uh, will use these uh, forms uh, i will continue to create uh, duty tables uh, functionality in next videos i hope it helps happy duxing